Our next question is for Sheikh Asim. Uh, this question is regarding adoptions. It's very common. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, this question is regarding adoptions. It's very, very common in Malaysia. So the question is, there are many couples in who adopt illegitimate children whom their own healthy parents refuse to keep the child ever since birth. And then the child is being named to the adopted parents instead. So the question is broken into four parts. Number one, what is the ruling for those biological parents who allowed others, others to take care? Is that considered an abandonment? Secondly, the new parents that has adopted and named the child to the newly adopted father's name, is this something that is allowed? Third, what does Islam say regard, regarding adoption of an orphan over an, an illegit, illegitimate child which has healthy parents? Is there a difference? Is there a prioritization? Which one is better? Having between an orphan and an illegitimate child with healthy parents. And last but not least, what shall we do if we encounter such cases and what shall be our action in managing these cases? In short, in very short, in less than half an hour, first of all, adoption concept is not in Islam. We sponsor, we support, we take in our custody, but we do not adopt. Adopt meaning that a, a child becomes as if he's my own. I give him my name and he in, uh, inherits and he becomes mahram to my uh, uh, daughters, to my um, uh, uh, sisters, and etc. This concept was there when the Prophet والسلام, in the beginning uh, of Islam, when Hakim ibn Hizam gave his aunt Khadija ibn Khwailid Zayd ibn Haritha. And she, by, her, by turn, gave, it, gave him to the Prophet. The Prophet loved him as a child. He set him free, and he told the people that this is the son of Muhammad. His name is Zayd ibn Muhammad. Then Allah revealed in chapter 33, Surah Al-Ahzab, that there is nothing as such. Call them to their parents. So you cannot call someone other to his father. So if you marry a woman and she becomes Mrs. Khan, because your name is Khan, this is haram. You have to call her after her father and after her family name. You cannot change her name into your name. And then they say that Islam oppresses women. We give women their names. They oppress women. They deprive them from their own names. Secondly, the Prophet has highlighted that he who sponsors or cares for an orphan is with him like this in Jannah. So this is something that is highly recommended in Islam. Wiping the head of an orphan would forgive your sins and would soften your heart as the Prophet had said alayhi salatu Having said that, you cannot take someone into your family who is not part of your family and consider him to be your child. So if he's a male and you did not have your wife, your mahrams suckle him, then he's a stranger to you and he's a stranger to your wife who is being called mother by him. When he is 13 or 14, reaches the age of puberty, he's an unmahram. He should not be associated with her or with your daughters, etc. Now, what's the ruling on the biological parents who don't want their child anymore? It's not an option. When you get a child, you don't get a paper from the hospital. Would you like to care of him? Or we will, you know, set him free. Buy one, get one free. No. <laughs> this is something that Allah Azza wa Jal has mandated upon the parents to take care of, the, of, of their children. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, كَفَى بِالْمَرْءِ إِثْمًا أَنْ يُضَيِّعَ مَنْ يَقُوتْ مَنْ يُعِيلُ It is sufficient of burden and sin upon an individual to waste and not care of those whom he is responsible to take care of. So they are definitely sinful big time. But believe me, a person who lets go, let go of his own blood and flesh doesn't have any concern of what awaits him in the hereafter. He doesn't believe in Allah Azza wa Jal to begin with. So he's not our topic. Now what is my responsibility if you can take a child 
below the age of two years of age. So he can or she can uh, uh, be breastfed by one of the mahrams, alhamdulillah. If it's a male, then try to get the one from your wife's family, her nieces, her sisters, or she can take medication that would provide whole milk rather than skimmed milk. And she can breastfeed the child for five times, five meals, and he would become her uh, 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 son through uh, suckling. Likewise, if it's a girl, then look, <laughs> definitely not you. Even if you take medication, this would not work. So look for someone in your family, like your sisters, your nieces, um, it's uh, your mother maybe, Allahu A'lam. And this does the job, inshallah, and you will be highly rewarded for such uh, a, a, a case. Now, is it same if I take someone who has biological father, uh, parents or I take an orphan who doesn't? Definitely not. The reward is only the most for and the highest for the orphan. And the orphan, in definition, is the one who had lost his parent, his father, before the age of puberty. So I cannot come now and claim for sadaqa because I'm an orphan. My father died <laughs> long time ago. I'm not an orphan by this definition. So if a child who has lost his father, not mother, who lost his father and he is below and under the age of, or age of puberty, he is considered to be orphan. Look for them, help them, give them money, try to cuddle them, uh, uh, rub on their hair. Allah Azza wa Jal would give you immense barakah in your life if you succeed in doing this and Allah knows best. Zakhla khairan. Sheikh 